three and a half thousand years ago, at the height of the Bronze Age, a man was laid to rest on a Greek hillside, surrounded by some of the most incredible riches ever discovered. But many of these treasures appear to have been taken from another, earlier, and more culturally advanced civilization than his own. So could it be that the Griffin warrior was part of a war party that raided the Minoan stronghold of Crete and left the island in ruins? Experts now suspect the Griffin warrior's own people, the Mycenaean Greeks, came to Crete set on invading this once prosperous island. His grave goods suggesting they looted whatever took their fancy and destroyed everything else. It's a scenario that neatly explains why one civilization disappeared and the other triumphed. One of the most puzzling and beautiful items buried with the warrior is an inch-long, intricately carved stone used for stamping a personal imprint into clay, a seal. But its exquisite craftsmanship means it can only have been Minoan. There's this beautiful, toned, heroic warrior who is vanquishing an enemy, and the, the detail on it is just remarkable. It's just the most exquisite work of, of art from, kind of from any time in the story of the world. But closer inspection of the stone revealed this was no treasure looted in war. There were clear parallels between the warrior in the image and the remains of the griffin warrior. The vanquishing hero appears to have these kind of long, curly locks. And I know that in the grave where this was found, combs were found. So maybe the original owner himself had beautiful, long hair. Ivory combs and a bronze mirror might be circumstantial evidence connecting the warrior with the well-groomed hero in the carving. But detail after detail on the Minoan seal stone seems to match the burial. There's a particular sword lying at the base of the image, and a real sword, very similar to this, was found in the same grave. The most exciting thing, this, this man has round his neck a necklace which kind of flows out at the back or is being hurled back. And this necklace was discovered in the grave. There are simply too many similarities between the Minoan stone and the Greek burial to be a coincidence. The stone could only have been a highly personal belonging of the Griffin warrior, either commissioned by him or made for him in his honor.